Are we live? Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games. But Josh. <laughs> this is the new thing now. So this is our little bonus stream that we have going on here. We did a heart flute in our previous Twitch Plays Kingdom Death episode, so we're going to do an abbreviated hand fight for y'all. It's not going to be quite as interactive, but still going to maintain some interactivity. But first, who are we? We're Twist Gaming. I'm Matt. I'm Josh. And I am filling in for TP tonight. My name is Anne. You're filling in TP? She's filling in for TP, which in most cases means she's paper towel. Or a uh, wet wipe. <laughs> <laughs> or some old clothing. Or whatever you have laying the around. The bathroom rug. I'm going to get that champagne bottle and just open it up. It's going to be one of those <laughs> Alright, so we kicked ass and took names. Well, I did on the last yes. fight. Uh, I was the only one that did any damage to the screaming antelope and I killed it. I broke its neck. Single-handedly. With your club. With my club. So You, you started it. with its tail. Ooh, or bidet. We should call you bidet. <laughs> Napkin. <laughs> Newspaper. Newspaper. I wish I could. My left hand. hand. <laughs> I mean, your hair is long enough. <laughs> That's nasty. Uh, welcome to Twist Gaming, everyone. So, as I said before, we're going to do an abbreviated fight. To which you guys are going to be rolling for the hands attack. Other than that, we're just going to be moving everyone, positioning them, so we can survive this fight. But uh, if you're not familiar, we're going to ask you to roll d10s by doing exclamation mark d space 10. First people to respond based off of the quantity that we need. We're going to use those roll results. And that's about it. So let's get this underway. Excellent. All right. The one thing we do need to look at is, is what everyone's affinity colors are. I have polarization. red and blue. So you have red and blue? Yes, indeed. And Twitch has... Uh, they're not equal. Oh, they are equal. They're not equal. I have blue. So you're blue. Twitch is blue. Twitch is blue. And so the, we have three blues and a green. Right. So that's fine. Just noting. Yeah, it'll be fine. What that is, um, it might change a little bit for the cards we get, but we're good. All right. So we got the hand here. Um, you got your armor updated. Everyone should be the uh, max survival. Yep. We and our max survival is nine as well. So we're gonna up that now. And let's let's get let's do it to it. Oh, did you have? Did you, are you really taking two shields? You're not going to give a shield to someone else so that they can... This gives me the extra monster grease. Oh, okay. Max survival? Nine. Can you have me start at five? Because Josh is mean. Actually, in, um, who has some um, decent evasion? You do? Uh, I have one evasion, plus two for my armor. So Twitch has the same amount of evasion. Uh, either one of you, if you want. Let's get rid of the wisdom potion for them, because they don't need it. Okay, that's fine. All right. So that makes you a more blue affinity style, technically. Yeah. What is the significance of the infinities that you're discussing? Uh, he he is going to attack specific infinities, and it'll be noted on his cards. So we're yeah. just going to have to make a note of that. Okay. Leave that there. Switch it with their weapon. They don't need their weapon. Oh, man, you don't even get to attack. Oh. You made her just fist and tooth it? No. All right. So we go first. Indeed we do. All we're going to do is check AI cards. Yep. So Josh is just uh, looking Most green affinities is both of them. Um, they're actually the same exact card. They're both liver blood. Okay, so we don't really have a choice. So we're going to have a choice. I am going to move a green up here. And I'm going to put up my shield. shield. And you guys can that's, stand there. That's the end of our turn. All right. So Twitch, we need uh, two D10s to be rolled. So okay. this is the attack that's going on. It is the liver blow, and it is survivor with the most green affinities. That's Josh. It's two speed, two plus accuracy. So Josh, how much evasion do you have? It doesn't. Um, it doesn't matter. It's two speed. One, his weapon is two. Shield blocks two. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Six and three. Doesn't matter. He automatically blocks two. Okay. So. All right, first card done. Nothing happened. Well, he ghost steps you, so you got your... But I also got plus one because he targeted me, and I'm starting this monster controller, and I don't know where the tile is. Okay, so it's the end of the monster's turn. It's our turn again. We're going to check the AI cards. We already know what the next one is. We already know what I'm the next one is. So I'm putting my shield back up. Uh, it's the liver blow. It's going to attack Josh again, so it's going to phase through him again. He's going to take an additional... Uh, Doesn't insa do anything. Insanity. I'm not monster controller anymore, but I'll take... Yeah, so I'm He takes three. one brain damage, but he has a shield up. It does two... Speed, he automatically blocks it. Uh, there's no point in having yes. Twitch roll for it right now. But, so that that's that. 
Beacon shields trivialize the hand so much. This is actually the hazmat shield. Who has the most shred of enemies? Uh, I have one. Which has Just one? one. Um, again, two identical cards. Um, so let's did you have... shuffle the deck? I did. He so has let's... a lot of similar cards. So Twitch has a shield. We do? So, yeah. Yep, Josh guys... gave you a shield. He was feeling nice. Guys, put up your shield. So consequently, though, I need you to do me a favor and go back and update your armor and add one to each location. I did, it's already... We did the armor. You can uncheck the body boxes, though. Ah! Four. That's a good idea. And they put up the shield. Why is it at four? They have uh, Kness and Hyde. Okay, but they get an additional armor to oh, all of it. So, okay, yeah. because of the shield. So so why do, why five, do you five, like five. correcting me about stuff that's wrong? Five. Okay. Uh, also, can you please bump the exposure down on the camera by one? I know I'm giving you a lot of stuff right now. but So, they are doing the Thunderbolt right. So, Anne. Down? Yeah, down. And we are going to need chat to roll two d10s. That? Yep. Indeed, that's perfect. So again, chat's rolling two d10s now. You spent your action to put up your shield. They have three evasion, right? You have three evasion, so it's going to hit you on a seven plus. You block one automatically, and you could dodge another one if you want to. So that's a two and an eight. So that's one miss and one hit. You block one with your shield. Oh. Um, they are going to take a light box. They are also the monster controller now, though. No, you... no, they have a mo- it goes oh, yep, them yep, two yep. and then them. Yeah, yep. so you're so, the monster controller, so that negates out. Negates so out. nothing happens. All right, our turn again. Thunderbolt and lightning, very very frightening me. Uh, who has the most blue affinities? Uh, I have two. Twitch has two. They have two. Uh, we're just gonna leave the other thunderbolt, right? Okay. So here you go. You're monster controller now. I am monster controller. It's gonna be the survivor with the most red affinities. So that's a tie, but we're going to have it attack Twitch again, right? Yep. And, you guys so, are... and you're going to check your box on your brain and then have them roll two more d10s. Why are we checking the box on the brain? Because he ghost-stepped you. This is what he does every time. He phases through you before he attacks you, and you take one uh, brain damage when he does that. And then two d10s? Uh, two d10s. And you have your shield up, so you're going to automatically block one. So that's a 10, perfect hit, but it's blocked. And a 4, that's a miss because you have 3 evasion. He's in 7 plus to hit. So nothing happens. So that's the end of the monster's turn. It's our turn now. Again, double cards. That's so odd. Um, this is going to be Twitch again. Uh, so this is the only so bad Anne, thing. So we're going to have you put your shield up. Okay? Okay. okay. Alright, they need to take a severe brain and injury. Uh oh, Spadudios. So we need a D10 to be rolled. I need the severe injury chart. So, Anne, you're going to take a severe brain injury because of what he's doing to you. Jeez, Louise. So, so we have to roll on the severe injury table. Yeah, you need a D10 to be rolled. Luckily, you can't die from it, so. Why can't I die from it? Because we have. Uh, uh, except darkness. Except darkness. So it gives you plus two to brain injury rolls. That's a two, so it's a four. You are knocked down and suffer knockback equal to your movement towards the closest board edge, gain 1d5 insanity. So please uh, take uh, roll a d5. Does he not attack them now? He can't attack them now. Technically, no. I d- I'm not 100% sure. So it says perform ghost step and then attack target. So yeah, he can't attack okay. them now. That's kind of so funny. They're, they're fine. So... But I had to roll the d5. That is, increase your insanity by three. Okay. So your brain armor goes up by three. Can you make a note on that sheet? For what? The uh, insanity. So, in case they change characters, we have that extra. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, so it's the end of the monster's turn. It's back to our turn. Josh is now the monster controller. Ooh, duration card. Um, yeah, this doesn't ma- matter. So put that there. Duration card, here you go. So the duration card is coming up, and it's take your best shot. And it is, when this is drawn face down, it's simply, uh, the monster turns to face away from the most possible survivors, then it moves one space towards, forward, and crosses its arms. Lothario, he old school, he old school cartoon scared us. Yeah. That's cute. He scooby doo you. <laughs> so while this is in play, the monster gains minus 10 evasion. If a trap card is revealed for any reason, place the monster behind the revealer. The revealer suffers the following. Blah, blah, blah. So when this is drawn face up, draw an AI card. So we're just going to get up. I'm going to have everyone move here. Just because 
His next AI card's going to target them, and he's going to go a step over here. That's fine. So, so you're going to put your shield up again. Okay. So now he's going to bullet jab you, so he's going to go step you, so you are going to... Well, they're monster controller again, technically. Yeah. Yeah, so you, they don't lose anything? They don't lose any insanity. So we need them to roll... Oh, this is a five speed. You need to roll five d10s. This is where you die. But it is a two plus accuracy. You guys have three evasion, so it's a five plus to hit. So that's something to make a note for. So that's a nine. That's one hit. That's nine. Two that's hits. another hit. That's that's super duper. That's where we die. That's not for real. That's interesting. All the good rolls. Say point one percent. An eight. An eight. <laughs> um, they might die here. This is amusing. We need one more D10 to be rolled, folks. So nobody else wants to roll it because it's nine 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 eight. Nine 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 nine. I have to watch the next one's a one, or the next one's a ten. So a uh, seven. That's that's five hits. That's exciting. So and you block one automatically. So you need to roll four hit locations. Yeah. That's exciting. And so you're going to take two damage to each one of these locations, but you have the ability to dodge one of them if you want. So legs? Body. Body. Legs. legs. And waist. So, so I want to dodge one of the legs? I would assume so. And so I you're going to take... use a survival to dodge? Uh, yeah, but you get to roll a d10 to see if you use it. So you get to roll a d10? What do we have for... A six plus, you get it back. Uh, rawhide armor is what gives you that ability. So you're going to take two damage to your legs, two damage to your body, and two damage to your waist. I'm going to ask you to repeat that in two and a half seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, what three do mi- I want you, what locations? Uh, your arms, your body, and your waist are going to go two. down by two damage each. Right. And you rolled yes. a nine, so you regain, rolled a ten. you regain your survival. They're rolling really high. Oh, yeah. Pedabot's on a... A hot streak right yeah. now. I dodged the legs, but I didn't use my survival. I dodged the legs because I didn't, uh, because I dodged the legs because we were going to get hit twice there, and I didn't want to take a severe injury on you it. Have. And you would have went down to one armor, but you can you dodge it. Three other have... arms in the body. You had five. You only took two damage. Yeah, I said you oh. would have removed two. Sorry. No. So. Going down to one armor is probably not the greatest thing, so I've, it, while you've got the opportunity, Three you might as well dodge. Down two on the arms, two on the bodies, two on the legs. That is correct. Okay. So now, Josh, we are checking the hit location, the AI deck rather. Uh, I am going to be the monster controller. So what's what's looking like we're going to be doing? He's a full power flick. Full power flick. When this is drawn face down, the monster proudly raises a single finger. Wait, which finger? Uh, when this card is drawn face up, target the survivor with the most armor points. So who's got the most armor points? Uh, me. You have ten armor? Yeah. How the hell do you have ten armor? <laughs> Thank you, oh, Beastro. Actually, it should be nine. Get high. Yes! Woo! Get high. So, you'll be fine because it's only a two-speed. Okay, so... Everything goes, he does that. I'm monster controller, so it doesn't even do the brain damage. How do you get to be a monster controller if Twitch was just monster controller? I was just monster controller. Control he this, card. this card. So it's a duration, so it gets drawn first, nothing happens, then it gets drawn again. Ah, uh, okay. Well, something happens, but then it, so, it, it, a different effect happens. Now it's going to do a two speed, two plus accuracy, four damage attack, but Josh has two automatic blocks, so he's fine. Screw you. He's just like, I like being tanked. I'm so happy. My name's Josh. All right, uh, we got another duration. Another duration card. This is the rude slap. And I'm already standing in the right spot, so I put up my shield. It so happens again. So when this card is drawn face up, the monster points at the ground. When this card is drawn face up, target and attack the survivor in the right spot. So Josh is in the right spot, automatically. And my, my shield doesn't. So we're just care. gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and you're technically the monster controller now when this is being drawn. Okay. So um, he's going to slap Josh. Slap oh, Josh. Yeah, slap Josh. It's nothing happens. Two speed. Nothing gets automatically destroyed. And uh, just like that, he applauds us. At the start of the showdown, places card face down the bottom. The survivors fall to their knees in agony, their bones suddenly twisting and changing. For each survivor, cure all broken injuries and roll a d10. The survivors are victorious. 
So chat, I'm gonna have you guys roll a D ten. Let's roll the slap Josh anyway. Seven. So a seven, you're gonna gain plus one permanent strength, plus one permanent accuracy, plus one permanent evasion, and gain a random fighting art. Now you know why the heart fleet's broken. So you're gonna get plus one accuracy. So you have one accuracy, plus one strength, so you have two strength, and plus one evasion, so you've got two evasion. Josh, what you roll? Uh, eight and a six. So the eight, you're gonna get the plus one to everything. So one accuracy. One strength, strength, one evasion, and a random fighting art. So you need to break out the fighting art deck. My evasion was three, so it's going up to four. No, no, no. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, technically. Technically. Because of the armor. And I rolled a seven, so I get plus one to everything as well. And what was the six? Oh plus one strength? Plus one strength. So I rolled a seven with two bodies to the feet. He is stupid now. Um, I got three base courage with this guy now. Why did you, why'd your courage go up? Uh, three base strength, sorry. We're working on something. Okay, and we get who get everyone gets fighting arts. Uh, except for your guy that rolled a six. All right. I have the dragon vestments, so I get to pick what I want. That's cool. So here's the funny thing: the two bodies to the feet. They have three natural accuracy, four natural strength, and two evasion. They are B A. Yeah, B A M F, if you will. That's it. They're really good. And they're quixotic. So this is for me. I'm gonna get the tumble fighting art. When you would collide, when something would collide with you, roll a d10 on a six plus, stand out of the way instead. So tumble. Oh, I could get rid, what's defender even do? I'm getting rid of that one, but I don't know what it does. Uh, I don't think it's tumble. So Twitch, this is for you. Your new fighting art is Rhythm Chaser. Gain plus one evasion tokens the first time you crit during a showdown. Rhythm Chaser? Yep. That's really good. I'm going to take Unbreakable just because Unbreakable is awesome. Uh, we all get Hunt XP, right? Yes. Uh, no, we don't, do we? Yep. Still showdown. Oh, then we should have hit him at least once. Just wasn't, to get the... Wasn't worth it. So if we get the hunt XP, I'm one away from aging up. Does he need any fighting arts? Frozen Star. Um, what any ones he can get? Champion Right, Unbreakable. Breakable doesn't help. Faded Blow. Faded Blow could help. Flated, flated Blow, yeah. That could help. Okay. All right, so we come back to the settlement. So what happens now? Um... We got that. I aged up. Oh, very good. And which age is this? Your first? First 13. That's a random fighting art. Yeah, it's a random fighting art. Uh, I still have my vestments, so I get to pick which one I want. Oh, that's really good. Do I good. want the Faded Blow or Champion to write? Um, Faded Blow. Yeah. Uh, weight is unbreakable, a dragon trait. The vestments only... Yep. It is a dragon trait. Thank you for letting me finish my sentence before you so rudely <laughs> Unbreakable, Faded Blow, and Champion Drake are the three Dragon Trade We ones. don't get any Endeavors for returning, do we? Nope, we don't get any. Okay. Else. So, that was it. That was awesome. Just because that went super duper quick and we got a bunch of cool stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, um, this guy needs plus one, two more strength, and weapon mastery. Could start maybe doing something there. So, let's end the stream now. Yeah, and then we have a special thing that we can do on stream also. Okay. All right, so thank you everyone for joining oh, us. All the reward. D10. Uh, D10, please. A nine. Nine. On a nine plus, the hand bows graciously and vanishes, leaving a package carefully wrapped in one leather strange resource. Inside is a skull and five basic random resources. Minus one population. He killed somebody and made them into resources? Yeah. Here what? you go, a-holes. I hate you. So we got a monster organ, a mystery meat, a monster hide, a broken lantern, and a monster hide, as well as a skull. And we need to choose someone to kill, but we'll do that a little later. Okay. We also have one more endeavor now. 
No, yeah, technically we have another endeavor. Because somebody died? Yeah. What do you want to use with that? Uh, someone needs a new weapon. Shh. Uh, Nightmare Training. Oh, I want and we to have plus one to Nightmare Training, right? I want to do, yeah, we do. I want to do Nightmare Training. Yeah. I've got nine survival. I'm going to do Nightmare Training. Um, I want to do Nightmare Training. Oh my gosh. The scrap means you can finish up the Screaming Helmet. Uh, I no, needed need the horns. spiral horn. I need the spiral horn. So, but that means another antelope next week, probably, right? Yeah, that'd probably be best. With bet. plus one luck tokens, we're gonna go and we're gonna destroy some antelopes. Yeah, we're gonna kill all the antelopes. And I have the shield. Was, me and you with the shield oh and the club. Oh my clubs, god! Back the shield and the club. We're gonna be so <laughs> stupid. All we're right. Very dead animal. So, Anne, please roll a d10. Give me sure. nightmare training. All right, guys, give me a d10. A one. I need to spend a survival or I'm dead. You spend one survival or die. And I don't get to roll again. And you don't get to roll again. So you, you spent four survival for nothing. Nice try. It was worth the you know? It was worth a shot. Worth the shot. All right. So with that, thank you everyone for joining us. This has been another fantastic Twist Gaming presentation. Follow us on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. Come chat with us on our Discord channel. Join us next week on Tuesday for our next continuation of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death going into Lantern Year. Or in Lantern Year 22. We're mid-year. Fantastic. Going into Monday. Though, whatever. Uh, Monday, we've got our next spotlight stream coming up. That is Catacombs Conquest. Thank you so much, Anne. You're welcome. And then on Friday, we've got our Great Game Hunter podcast where we talk about the ins and outs of Kingdom Death with myself, Josh, and Fen. Link to Fen's stuff, please. He has an amazing uh, portfolio of work that he does. He's got a Patreon set up. He's got a Twitch. The he streams streaming. on Wednesdays, and... typically. So tomorrow. And he also does commission work. And all of the painted minis that you see on our stream are done by Mr. Fenn himself. So if you like what you saw, go and give him a nod. He'd really appreciate it. And we really appreciate everything he does with us as well. And maybe I'll join him on stream tomorrow and talk a little bit. No one wants to hear that. No one wants to hear that. Maybe. All right. So is there anything else, folks? Um, no. I think that's it. For all right. So we're going to do a sign-off here. And we're going to have a little special extra something at the end of the stream for you all. So thank you for joining us. Twist Gaming signing off for the night. I'm Matt. I'm Josh. And I'm Anne, filling in for TP tonight. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.